Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moikins from Big Mountain Studio, and today I'm going to teach you how to create round buttons with images. What do I mean by that? Well, here, take a look at this image here. This image is from a video that I found on YouTube from a graphic designer named Vincent Latang Jr., and he has a time lapse video of creating UIs in Sketch. And I really like this this UI that he created, and I saw these round buttons down here. I'm like, I'm like, wow, I want to learn how to do that. So I figured out how to do it and I want to teach you guys how to do it now too. So let's get started. Here I created my own uh, UI <laughs> it's with a similar background as his, you know, it's, it's kind of like purplish and we're going to put our button on here. I'm just going to create one button for now. And when we put a button on here, you know, it's just the plain clear background blue text button, right? Well, this, believe it or not, is actually going to become these buttons. I'm going to start with the Facebook button. Well, I'm not going to start with it. I'm, that's the only button I'm going to create. So I'm going to create a Facebook button for you guys. Okay, first thing we need to do is give it an image. And for an image, what I'm going to do is just come to this assets library here, and I'm going to have, I'm going to add the Facebook images right here. So I already have them created, and as you can see, they're black right now. And really, when you add an image, you only really need the 2x and the 3x because the 1x isn't used anymore it was used on the iphone 4. so we're going to just go with these two images and we're going to drag them in here and it puts them into one as you can see here so we have the 2x and the 3x now this image is black but as you can see from this this image is white i'm not going to create a white image because if you want to be able to change that color later on, you have to create new images, but there's an easier way to do it. You can actually just use the tint color of the button to color this image, but you have to set up something first. Clicking on the Facebook image, you have to come over to the render as and set it as template image. And what that'll do is use the tint color of the button. So let's go to our main storyboard and we have our button selected. So we're going to change the image here. I'm going to select Facebook and there you can see the image there and it has text in it so let's take that text out there we go okay so there's our button we have our image in there now we know the color is going to use the tint color so let's just make that white right now just select white color now when I change the tint color you're not going to see it in design view but when I run it, that's when you'll see the tint color being used. And there you go. It's a, it's a white F. So we're almost there. Now we just have to create the, the white circle. And how do you do that? Well, you could do it in code. And we could say for this button, let's give it a border and a border width. We'll give it a border color, a border width. And then we'll give it a corner radius so it makes it round. That's what we want to do, but I'm not going to put it in the view controller. Instead, what I want to do is I want to be able to create a button, a customized button that I can just change right on the storyboard and I can see that white round circle in design time. So it gives me a better idea what my UI is going to look like before I actually run the, pro run the project. So in order to do that, we're going to create an IB designable stands for interface builder designable interface builder is basically this application right here when you work in your storyboards or your zip files anything with your UI is called your interface builder so let's create that file and we want the cocoa touch class and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to add functionality to the UI button so well, that's what we want right here. We want a UI button. And when you say subclass of, subclassing means you're basically taking an existing class and you're adding functionality on top of it. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna subclass the UI button because we're gonna add additional functionality where we can set the border width, border color, and the corner radius. What should we call this? I'm just going to call it round button. click create and there we have it down here okay so let's get rid of this and I want to be able to make the changes in the interface builder so what I have to do is give it an interface builder designable attribute 
to my class. And remember I said I needed three properties. So I need to be able to, to define a border width, a border color, and a corner radius. So there's three properties that I need there. The first one I'm going to start with is the corner radius. Far, and we'll just call it corner radius. And it's going to be a type, type CJ, CG float. CG, that those letters that basically just means core graphics. And so it's a float that's used by core graphics. And we need to give this a, a default value. So by default, there will be no corner radius, which means that it's just zero. And I need to be able to change this inside of the attributes inspector. So in, in order to be able to do that, I need to, another attribute here called interface builder inspectable. This attribute basically does is allows this property to show up in my attributes inspector. So if I come to my storyboard now and I have the button selected and if we change this button from right now the default is UI button so let's change it to our new class round button. It's going to update. It's basically just kind of compiling our new class that we built. Okay and then now we come over to attributes inspector. Now we see a new property called corner radius. And I can set that value, but nothing's going to change or nothing's going to happen right now. That's because when the property is changed, we're not really handling it. So let's do that now. Let's implement that functionality. Every time this property changes in the storyboard, this did set will be called. And when the did set is called, we want to be able to change the, the UI button and the corner radius is actually going to be on the layer and we'll just say it equals corner radius like that. Okay well setting the corner radius isn't really going to help us unless we can actually see a border so let's add those other properties where we can set the border width and the border color. So it's going to be you know the same kind of pattern as you see above. Whoops doing the border here. Default it to zero. Oops, we want border width rather. And I'm just going to save some time by copying this. There we go. And this is going to be our border color. And of course, a color isn't a float, it's going to be UI color. Like that. Okay, so those are all the properties that I need. Oh, and of course the default value isn't a zero. Let's make the default color clear. Let's see, what is this? UI color to types. Oh, okay. So let's look for a CG color. So we'll just change convert this to a CG color like that. There we go. All right, that should do it. Now let's go to our main storyboard, and we should see those three properties now. There they are. Not quite sure why corner radius was negative one. Maybe... I set it to negative one before <laughs> before I went back to update the round button. So let's change the corner radius. Uh, well, actually, I'll just leave that for now. The border width, we'll just make that a one. And as you can see, it put a border on there. And we want the color to be white because that's just going to be that's going to be the same color as our tint color. And now we want to make rounded corners, but the first thing we have to do is we want a square button. Because if you do rounded corners now, it's going to be more of an oval rather than a perfect circle. So let's make sure that the, the width and the height are the same. And let's just, we can just change it to 50-50 like that. I'll route it. You know, I could have done this too, like using the, the height and the width here. Let's make it 60 from the bottom. We'll keep it where it is. And then we need to center it. Let's put it in the center of the frame and we'll update it when we click add one constraint there we go okay now now that I know the height and the width are 50 in order to create a perfectly round circle you want to take one of those measurements and just divide it in half so the corner radius will be 25 there it is there's our round button now let's run it and see how it looks alright there it is there's your round button looks pretty good right all right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
and learn some new things that you can apply to make your UI look better. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and you'll see more cool videos come out like this. Thanks. Bye.